What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to talk about something that not very many people know is a very big limitation of grid-tied solar panel systems. And that is, in my opinion, they suck for emergencies or being prepared for emergencies. So first let's define what I mean by a grid-tied solar panel system. This would be solar panels traditionally on somebody's roof or on a ground mount in their backyard, which is connected to a grid-tied inverter which feeds your house breakers and then on into the grid of the electric utility company. So what's so bad about that? Well, when there's a power outage, your solar panel grid tied system will not work at all, even if it's daytime and the sun is shining. And that's because by law in the United States, and I think it's fairly common in other developed countries, grid tied inverters have to have a safety feature called anti-islanding. No, that's not exactly what it sounds like, has nothing to do with an island. Islanding is when the grid power goes down, but a remote generation source like a solar panel system is still producing power. So the anti-islanding safety feature shuts off your grid tight inverter from sending any power to both your house and to the grid in order to protect the safety of utility line workers that are working to repair the power grid. So how do we fix that? How do we make solar be good for emergency situations where you need power and the grid is down? Well, the first and easiest solution would be to install a cutover switch or transfer switch where you could manually throw a switch and divert power to another inverter. You'd have to have a, a second non-grid tied inverter. Um, set up to connect to your house electrical panel and that way you could throw the switch and transfer power to the other inverter and then you would be able to power your house. However, that would only obviously work if the sun is shining. The best solution and obviously the most complicated and most expensive would be a hybrid setup or a grid tied with battery bank system uh, as you see in the diagram. This combines a grid tied system with an off grid system to give you the best of both worlds. So 99% of the time when the grid is up and everything's good, it will operate just like a grid tied system. But when the power goes down and you need it, it will have fully charged batteries ready to go and it will be able to continue to power your house just like normal. So in conclusion, I'm not trying to say that solar sucks or grid tied sucks. I'm just trying to say that there is a limitation that people need to know about. I think when people get uh, approached door to door by these salesmen and they get you know, sold on these systems, they're assuming that this is going to help them if there was a power outage, but it's not. Anyway, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.